Welcome to Washita Mountain Living Podcast. My name is Mike. It is Friday, April 5th, 1974. No, it ain't 1974. But I don't know. It might as well be. Ah, oh, yesterday I got some work done on the kitchen. Got the countertop built. Uh, got it in the house. Now I need to pull it back out, do a little wall prep, make the walls purty. Got the outlet moved, so we're in business. It's going to take me a good two or three days to get this everything where I need it, get the counter uh, countertop in, put the oil on the butcher block, all that good stuff. Yeah. So I've got to run and get some dog food and... I wasn't, I was just going to go to my local dollar store, but they don't have Rooster's Dinners. Her little packages, she must have, she'll eat the Caesars, but it has to have the gravy from those little packages, and there's only three left. So I could wait, but then we're going to have all this Eclipse nonsense, which I think was just made up. I don't think all those people are going to be traveling like the government's telling us. I don't think so. But we'll see. I'm going to go to town today and get a good feel of it and see. Uh, but I doubt they'll be buying dog food if there is. Anyway, I've noticed uh, an uptick in this. And it, it goes to, you know, it, it, it's I can understand why there's a lot of people moving here. I talked to the lady when I got my license plates last time. Uh, I've known her 12 years. Uh, back from when I worked at the pawn shop and sold cars and things like that. I asked her, I said, hey, is there a lot of people moving here? And she just went. I said, I guess that means a lot. She goes, yeah, a lot. Which, hey, we can't do nothing about. People want a better life. But let me tell y'all about a scam that I've known about here ever since I've lived here. I've been here longer than anybody that's moving here. But nobody wants to listen. So let them find out the hard way. But I'm going to be warned. How do I know about all these scams and all these things? Well, I worked at the pawn shop here for six years. I know all the people. I know all the scams. The people, why they do them, how they do them. And uh, if you move here from out of state, you pop in, you think you're in a country where nothing bad happens, think again. One of the biggest scams that has always gone on around here is the land contract sale for land. The owner owner's going to carry the note. You just need to put a down payment. Yeah, we know a few people that are doing this. And sometimes those are all legit. But let me tell you, most of the time around here, they are not. And here's what you do to make sure you go to your court clerk's office in the county where you intend to purchase property in this manner. You pull up the record. They'll pull the records, tell you who the owner is currently. And uh, if, they, if the people that are trying to sell you this land are not on that, then you, you run. Because I'm going to tell you what happens so many times. And we, we've even had them when I worked at the pawn shop. Here's what happens. The older people die. They leave the land to their crackhead kids or their kids that have never, there's a lot of youngsters around here that just never have made it, yet they won't move seeking other employment. So when they get a piece of that land, they want to unload it and they want to unload it cheap, but not now. Now they see all these people coming here. And they're going to do that. And, and they are not the legal owners. So unless you go through a lawyer you trust. And like I said, check it out with the court records. I mean, I would assume anybody with an intelligence would do that in the first place before they agreed on something. Because, man, they're going to be friendly to you. You're going to, you're going to believe every word these people say. They're good. But that doesn't mean they own the land. Anybody can pick a piece of land. That's, they know the land, the chunks of land that have been sitting vacant for years. And if you're not careful, you're going you're gonna to move onto that land. You're going to start working it only to find out that person didn't own it. That has happened time and time and time again around here. 
So heed my warning. Uh, that is what happens. There are a lot of other things that happen. You know, you get around a bunch of poor people, they come up with some good stuff, man. You just got to watch your back. Never, ever, ever hire somebody to do some work for you and pay them anything in advance. You will never see them again. I knew that when I hired a guy to, to do my roof, but here the guy that did my roof was from California. He had just moved here from California. So I figured I'd be safe with him, and I didn't really pay him a lot in advance. Uh, but, you know, the job never got finished. So trust no one and, and do your research. And that goes with anything. Do not trust anybody you do not know. Um, working for the pawn shop. Oh, my God. We would... I don't. I couldn't tell you how many times somebody had died, left piece of land to somebody, and came in and wanted a dirt cheap price for it, and he would buy it. And he would buy, you know, he would buy five, ten acres for five, five to ten thousand dollars, and turn around and double his money on it. But there's a lot of paperwork that goes, in, you know, involved with all that. But like I said, the easiest way. Go to the court clerk's office. They have all the titles. There could be a mortgage on that land. You don't know. They pull stuff like that. They don't care. Uh, the courts will put them in jail. They're out in a week. You know, it's a slap on the wrist. So be aware. Buyer be aware. And Arkansas is full. But in case you squeeze in and somehow land comes available, it could be one of those scam deals. Now, I would never buy a piece of land that way in the first place, but sometimes that's all you can do. Uh, I, you know, you know, you, a lot of them just are trying to sell. They don't want to pay a real estate agent, and I understand that. But you got to look at the type of person you're dealing with. Uh, it doesn't hurt. It's easy, easy to investigate people today. You know, it doesn't cost a dime. You know, we got the internet, but a lot of these people, they. They don't have credit cards. They have never dealt with the internet. So, uh, the rev not the revenue officer, uh, the tax assessor. That's, that's the office you go to. But the court clerk holds the mortgages. They hold the, the, the land deeds. And that's where you would go to find out. But I would stop in the tax, uh, tax assessor's office first. Because that land could have a whole bunch of tax on it. You don't never know. So, just... Um, I'm just warning people, just because it's the country in the middle, you know, oh yeah, believe me, there's many dishonest people here as there are anywhere, maybe more, maybe more, because some of the deals I've seen, oh goodness, so that is all I wanted to say, I have got to go fetch roosters some dinners and the rest of them, but uh, heed my warning folks. And just just do your homework. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.